Beginners think they need to watch more tutorials, I've released three games, and trust me, you don't. In this video, I'm going to teach you the exact methods that's actually going to teach you. So, first, it's very important to understand why tutorials don't work, because you're probably sitting there, like, scratching your head and thinking, well, doesn't tutorials work? I thought that was the only way to learn. Let me tell you the full picture, so you're actually going to make progress faster than 99% of other developers. Because I've been exactly like you. I thought that tutorials was the only way to actually start learning game development and I watched these tutorials and I still wonder why I couldn't make anything myself. So we can see that tutorials, it feels more productive than it actually is because we can watch the tutorials, we can think we're actually learning the new things. But in reality, when we go into the game engine and we try to apply it, we can't do a single thing. And it feels more productive than it actually is because tutorials, that's something we call passive learning. Whilst to actually learn game development, what we need to do is not going to be passive learning, it's going to be active learning. And these are two completely different things. So let's just explain the difference very quickly. Because this is very critical to understand in basically all aspects of life. But to learn game development is especially important because game development it's so like logical, creative in the same and it's like 100 fields in one field. So like active learning is like overwhelmingly more effective in game development especially. So let me teach you the difference. Recognition, that's where you're sitting there and you're like following along and you think you're actually understanding things in the moment. So that can be, for example, when you're watching a tutorial and you, like the guy on YouTube can explain what they're doing and you can explain like why the lines of code that you're typing is good. And you can like follow along and you can like kind of understand, you feel like you're understanding the things that you're actually doing while you're following along. But you're actually not going to remember the things and be able to apply them practically like in your own project. And why is that? Well, it's because to actually understand something, which is completely different from recognizing something, by the way, to actually understand something, we need to have what we call a desirable difficulty. This is very, very important, a desirable difficulty. And when you're watching a tutorial, it's super easy. Like we don't have to use our brain at all. Like your mom could follow along a tutorial because they're literally telling you what to do. There is no thinking involved. But to actually learn something, and to actually understand it, we need to have this desirable difficulty that I talked about. And how do we actually get to this point where we're doing something that's like desirably difficult? Well, that's going to be make experiments. Because in game development, we learn by doing the thing itself. It's like any other field, but it's especially important in game development. You can imagine like I wanted to learn the guitar and I wouldn't play the guitar. I would just watch someone else play the guitar and then I would follow along. You won't learn anything from that. We learn by actually doing. So now that you understand this, this is very, very good that you understand. But before I teach you like specifically what you're going to do to start learning today and implement this experimenting and prototyping, I just want to quickly mention my program, which is called Smartini. Smartini is a step-by-step -step guide to actually release and finish your first game in only 60 days. And I'm actually going to increase the price on December 1st. So I think it's a very, very good deal for you to click the first link in the description right now and join Smartini. But either way, I'm going to tell you the step-by-step -step guide to actually learn. This is going to be very, very valuable for you. So this is obviously going to depend a lot on the person. So if you watched a few tutorials before, like a few hours of tutorials, then it's going to be completely different from if you have never watched one. So just to get like everyone on the same uh, field and I actually do think that you should watch like a few hours of tutorials in the start, not to understand how we do code, but just to recognize, like I just want you to recognize the basics. That's all we need to do. So just to get everyone on the same page. I want you, if you haven't already watched tutorials, I want you to watch a one to five hour introduction video to a game engine. And as I said, this is not to understand something. After watching this, you aren't going to remember basically anything, but you recognize like where the buttons are and you've installed the game engine, things like that. So go on YouTube, search for like a Unity Unreal Godot introduction video and watch around uh, two to five hours of it. So if you then have like a basic recognition about everything in the game engine, like, you know, like basic syntax in like coding, then what I want you to do is just make small experiments from what you remember from the video or if you didn't watch the video from tutorials you watched previously. And this can be like very, very basic things like one line of code. That's all it needs to do, like just do something. And then I want you to build upon that. So I'll give you an example for this. For example, if you watch an introduction video and in the introduction video, what you guys did was to make a simple player movement script. What I want you to do is try to remember like one line of code from the player movement. 
script and that can be for example get player input so uh, for example when the um, player presses space you can recognize that line of code and you can implement that line of code into your own game and you can try to do something when you press space so let's just say the only thing you remember is get this player input like when a player presses space the space button then you can do something that's the only thing you remember how to do let's just say that it's very basic everyone could probably do that after that i wanted to build upon that and just experiment try to like do something try to make something and i wanted to expand on the knowledge that you already have with possibly the next natural step so for example if the only thing you remember was to get this um, player input when the player presses the space button for example what i want to do is expand on that in the next natural step so that can be for example uh, when the player presses space then you can try to jump for example listen to this this is very important this is the loop i wanted to be in if you just repeat this then you're going to learn extremely quickly when you're implementing something new what i wanted to do is not immediately go on google or youtube watch it at all that's actually going to not give you that desirable difficulty that we talked about before instead what i wanted to do is i wanted to try to guess for like 10 20 minutes and if you can't do it within like 10 20 minutes then you can go on google not youtube not anything else not ai I wanted to go on Google and I wanted to try and search for the one specific thing that you're trying to do. Uh, let's just say when the player presses the space button, you want the player to jump. You can like try to guess your way through it. You can probably like get a few results while you're getting while you're guessing, but it's not going to be the result that you want, obviously, because you're a beginner, you aren't going to know how to do it. But the thing that you just tried at least. It's going to make it sit so much tighter in your brain so it's going to be awesome so it's going to be very very critical that you actually try to guess before you actually search for the solution and then obviously like you can do it because you're a beginner you don't know how to make it jump so after you've tested experimented for a bit you can go on google you can search for specifically how to make the player jump in unity for example and then you'll get like one line of code it's going to be rigidbody.addforce and then you can kind of see in the IDE, the syntax, you can see on the uh, Google page how you're going to write that line of code and what the different parameters are inside of that. And then you can just experiment with that line. You can try to change the parameters, try to change like the force and things like that. You can change your gravity. Just experiment as much as possible with the thing that you actually search for the solution for. If you do this, you're going to learn extremely, extremely quickly so much faster than everyone else because everyone else just wants to do the easiest possible thing they don't watch a video about learning like you're doing the only thing they want is like to get the quick dopamine and finish a tutorial and they're going to watch so many and they aren't going to be able to do anything if you actually implement this you watch this entire video already if you implement the things that i'm saying you're going to be just like me you're going to release games which is actually like 99 percent of the game developers don't release like a single one but if you actually do this then you're going to have the skills to actually make it i think this is going to be very beneficial for your learning and your game development journey so i congratulate you for watching this and thank you so much for watching